back to another video. I'm so excited to be filming this video and yes. So today's video is my back to college haul. So I'll be in my second year of my foundation degree when I go back in September. I've currently finished and there will be other videos up about obviously how I coped and other stuff. So to start off with the video, I'm going to be obviously showing you like books and notepads that I have bought and I think will benefit me from tips to tips, even to go into my first proper year at uni, so it'll help a lot. So to start off with, I picked up some folders. So I've got a blue one, an orange one, a green one, and a pink one. I bought these for, I think there is 69p or there could have been 79p from home bargains they are just the pucker ones and i think these are going to help because i've got five different units trying to fit five different units of coursework into a one folder it just kind of you're carrying so much and not only that you sat there flicking through trying to find what you've done and then you could have put it in the wrong bit and yeah so obviously I got four from Home Bargains and then I got the fifth one from Asda, just a plain black one. It has got like poly things in from last year, which I've just put in there. So yeah, and I think that was um, 99p or a pound. To go with the folders, you need little dividers. So I picked these dividers up from the works on £1.50 and they are the, not the paper ones, but the actual hard, like, thin ones. Um, and then that's a pack of 10 and then also I picked some up from Asda and these are the actual paper ones. And I found that I went through two packs of dividers as well when obviously I had a folders because the units have two different units in there so I thought they was so good to pick up um, and yeah I think the ones from Asda was a pound to go with the folders I picked up a pink A4 notepad I picked up two black A4 notepads and then I picked up two blue A4 notepads. These are all £1 each from the pound shop because I've got five different units I thought that I'd need five different notebooks. To go with the notebooks I've got I think these are A5 a, a or A3 um, just the smaller ones, I just, let me put them against. Oh, wait a minute, I thought it said on the back what they were. B5, apparently. So they're just kind of like the size of that. And again, these were £1 each from the pound shop. Two blues, two blacks and a pink. But the pinks and the greys, not these greys, but this pink is different. And I will show you what I mean in a minute. Like them two blues are two different blues as well. Oh my god. Oh, look at kids and kids. Kids and kids. And then I just got um again five journals and they're just the A5 journals. Um so yeah i got again two blues which the two different 
blue colours as someone's going to pound out to me but you can't actually get all notebooks the same colour by the looks of it again the two greys are a different colour and then I've just got a pink which is different pink to that and the other pink is different to that as well it's not so bad because I have got obviously a pink, a blue and a black folder. The orange and green one's just going to have to be a different colour to the notepads because I can't get, you know, loads of different colours. And again, they was a pound each from the pound shop. So yeah, moving on because they should not be there onto other stuff that I have got. I did pick up, well, my mum picked up a normal blue, just small notepad. I think this is a A3 because it is smaller than the A5s, just like that. Um, so yeah, that's just gonna be like for random notes if I've got like tests. Um, I haven't got a the academic diary. Um, it does run out this July, so I will be picking one of them up when they come out. However, I did pick up one, but it is just literally the smallest one ever, and I think this cost two pounds from the works. So, yeah. And this small notepad was from the card factory. So, yeah. I also picked up this yog journal for £2.99. I just think I'd need to de-stress quite a lot because it, the people tell you, they're like, oh, yeah, it's, it's a breeze, it really is. But with the problems I've had over the past year, I just found it really difficult and... I was always stressing, I was always sat there crying over assignments when I didn't need to. So I just thought if I pick this up, it might help me de-stress quite a lot. Um, and obviously the first part, it just tells you like yoga positions and then the second part is just like loads of notes that you can write down. And that was from Aldi on this, I think it was on the special buys, so they probably won't actually have it anymore. But for £2.99, you can't go wrong, and hopefully, it does help me. Um, sticking on with paper, I picked some revision and presentation cards, two up for £1 each from the works. I just think these will be so helpful because my exam got cancelled last year. Obviously, the exams will still go ahead next year because it might be a lot more, you know, well situated. And I just thought these will help so much for if I need to revise anything. And I never actually use these for my GCSEs, but a lot of people have sworn by them. I'm like, yeah, yeah, they're really helpful. So, fingers crossed, they work. Not only that, I picked up a, that is not my glow stick. That's my sister's glow stick. I thought I, wouldn't, I didn't pick up a glow stick. Um, my mum picked up me this little unicorn keyring because she thought it was cute and that'll probably go on my pencil case which talking of pencil cases I will show you oh there it is no I had it I just picked up this 50p pencil case from Asda. It's just a standard small one. But I've also got this pencil case that I picked up from the power shop, which has a ruler, sharpener, and pencil in it at the minute. Not only that, I just thought for my desk, I'm going to pick up a little pencil pot just to put like all my other spare pens in. So I'm not going to be taking them all to college with me or putting them in my, in my pencil case and that was a pound and that was also a pound 
Um, moving on to pens and pencils and all that kind of shenanigans i picked up three black permanent markers a the good for whenever but b if i need to write on my sticky notes which i can find them i picked up some sticky notes for a pound just to put on the dividers um so i can like kind of gather you know what units which and everything else so i just picked up them as like a backup thing um not only that on the side of them or on the top of them i want to write um what units they are i picked up a pack of 12 neon hb pencils from the works which was also a pound um I kind of went on a little bit of a mad spree trip from the works because I did once buy stationery from there but I never went and bought it again if you know what I mean but obviously the pens and pencils from the pound shop are getting a little bit not rubbish but not having what I need in so I picked up them moving on to pens from the pound shop obviously i've got two paper make in there i picked these up about six months ago and obviously as you can tell i've used them but when i do finally find which pound shop actually sells these again i will be picking some more up however i've been in three pound shops because we only have three pound shops in bradford and one is local to me and for the life of me i cannot find these however they are a pound each so yes but on the other hand i did manage to buy this set of red green blue and black and these was actually i think i picked them up for a pound and they were selling them at um it's not a charity shop it's more like it's called honest freddy's and it sells like not refurbished stuff from other shops but kind of it is in a way it's kind of hard to describe but again pick them for a pack i also picked up a pack of three black gel pens just because sometimes i do get sick and tired of writing with biros so I have got them, which I think these were 70 something P. Don't hold me to it, I will try and find out all the links to them online. I picked up four Sharpie highlighters, cause they were two for a pound. Again, I bought them from the Honest Freddy's and you just can't go wrong. I think they are meant to be highlighters um so that will come in very handy if i need to highlight anything i don't know why i've got blue tack in here but you never know when you need blue tack i picked up two lots of correctional fluid from home bargains i don't like getting station from home bargains because sometimes the pens and the notepads are very expensive um and they never have big notepads they only have small ones and i refuse paying two pound when i can buy them cheaper i think this was 79p again don't hold me to it i'm not too sure and you won't find links to anything on home bargains because they don't do them i don't know why i have got some pencils from last year as you'll probably see in my last year's video i've got them same with the blue big pens same with the black big pens just got a random big pen hanging around same with these as well obviously i need to do my whole 
um, pencil case but you can find these a lot cheaper to pick up even if they aren't 27 you can pick up a pack of something like 24 or 12 or something stupid like that and it is cheaper than what I paid for these and then the last thing I picked up was just for my metallic gel pens for 79p from the works and they just have silver and gold i think these look really pretty in my work or like if i'm trying to present something or kind of remember something and that's the same with the colored big pens as well so yeah i got them as well i think that everything that i've got and that i think i need um, I did go over the top with some bits that I bought and I didn't need to um, last year but now I've done my first year I know what I need and it's not stopping me so I am thankful for that. Um, I probably should have picked some revision cards up for last year but I kind of had an instinct in knowing that everything was going to get cancelled anyway. Um, but yes, I am just thankful I've managed to get everything and that I've managed to finish this year especially and I will be filming another video on how my year's been, what's kind of inspired me to carry on and stuff like that. So yes, a lot of people are probably going to ask me why do I not have rubbers, um, I have got sticky notepads but they're from last year and people are going to ask me why I don't have a sharpener I do have a sharpener obviously in that pencil case and the rubbers on the end of the pencils work any best than any rubber I'm probably going to go out and buy it and spend anyway so yes I think someone's coming up but yeah I hope you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up See you soon.